What's going on everybody? It is Wild Willie and today we are here on our final waterfall hunt for every waterfall animal on the Hunter Classic and today is the Canadian Goose and we actually have our setup right here in the background behind us and it's only a 14 decoy setup. It's not a fully completed setup like I thought it was. This is the only one that is not a full 24 max attraction setup. So we're going to go ahead and jump in the blind here and see what kind of action we can go ahead and pull in and go ahead and go from there we're using the f3 blazer today and we also brought out the 22 plinkerton and we also have our good good bird dog daphne sitting right right behind us um hopefully i brought her some treats today so hopefully we can go ahead and get her level up 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 and grind her out and uh maybe get lucky and get a few pheasant maybe that fly through this area i know it's a very populated pheasant area um, but I'm going to go ahead and waste no more time and jump right into the hunt. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for all the support. So we'll go ahead and see you guys in the blind when the birds start flying. All right, guys, we just got our first flock to actually break here. And this is the first flock to come over us so far in this hunt. So we're going to go ahead and bring these birds in a little bit closer here with the, with the short range collar. One of them peeled off. I'm going to have to get ready. I'm going to have to shoot them here. I'm going to have to cut them. Kill them. Kill them. All right, we got three out of the four right there. I don't, I'm going to let that bird go. All right, guys, so we got our first three goose, geese. I don't know why. I always want to call them goose instead of geese. A, like a goose is single and geese is a flock. Don't mind how I speak. Don't mind. I'm not the, I'm not the smartest, but you know what? All right, guys, so that is our first group to actually hit the ground right there. And we let that one go. Go ahead and fly away. Flutter away. Flutter away, young guy. I didn't really, really did not want to take some pop shots with that 22. Um, this spot is just, just at the peak of heat up time. I think within the next half an hour to an hour here, uh, we should go ahead and start getting some more birds. Actually, while I'm thinking of birds, we should go ahead and set our dog out to go ahead and start to collect those birds right there and our dog has just reached level 10 great things are happening there so that was our first flock to actually go ahead and fly over us we've been in the game for about 20 minutes here now um and i'm not at the at the tent at the at the starting spot we were there for a couple minutes doing our intro and now we're here so we've been here for about 20 minutes we got another flock coming we got another flock coming come on get in the blind get in the blind come on thank you thank you we got another flock coming in um, I'm not sure they're split a little bit. So let's go ahead and try this. I don't know if this is considered two flocks or one. Are those bot? I don't think those bottom ones are broke. No, they're definitely not. They're definitely not. All right, come on. Come on. All right, good numbers. Good numbers just broke right there. All right, so let's go ahead and get these birds to come in a little closer. We can hear wings. Here they come. They're coming back around. Come on, come come this way. We might be able to get two doubles here. Cut them, cut them. All right, we just got two doubles. I think we can get another set. Another double, no, another one. Oh, no, 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 no. No, almost perfect. <laughs> perfect. Oh, that was awesome. We only lost two right there. That was awesome. This is why I love waterfowl hunting, you guys. So go start getting me my birds, please, doggy. Thank you. You're you're so kind. All right, it's just I'm not gonna hurry up and pick up this first male. It's actually a male. Uh, 5233. Three. I'm not too sure on the size, but 17 GMs. Um, not too bad, I don't think, for for a bird that I know of. Um, I definitely see that the magpie actually so far have been the best out of all the waterfowl for money with the new update coming out for the snow goose. Um, that was a those are real fun to hunt on launch. Made a lot of good money on those, but that last hot fix was actually fixing those birds. So they are no longer worth a absurd amount of money. So let's go ahead and grab this next one really quick. Another male, 5.8 kilograms, uh, 5799.8. So not bad. 20 GMs again right there. Um, I got to be careful here. I definitely do want to get a photo shot. Um, with the decoys and my birds and everything else in the background here. So I don't want to don't want the dog to pick them all up, but I'm going to go ahead and we're not done yet. We're not done yet. That's that's only two flocks down right there. So I'm going to keep getting my dog to go ahead. Actually, we're going to go ahead and give this dog a treat here and we're going to go ahead and keep Daphne out and about out in the field. Go ahead and bring me my birds while we wait for our next flock to, to come in. So don't go anywhere as you guys as you guys see some great canoe, Canadian 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 goose action coming at you. 
All right, guys, I did not think these birds were going to come in. They broke way out there, and we're getting lucky enough. These birds are flying right at us. One is winged out. He's ready to land. Let's go ahead and wait a second. They're both ready to land. They're coming right at us. Oh, oh, another two birds bites the dust. Look at that. And a pheasant. And a pheasant. Let's see. Oh, and another pheasant down. And now I'm kind of stuck here. I'm stuck. All right, guys. So actually, I'm going to go ahead and leave the dog right there. I'm going to go ahead and grab this one really quick and go ahead and uh, do a little screenshot here. A little little thumbnail photo real quick. You guys know how it goes. Oh, shoot. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. 43, 13, uh, 25, uh, standard harvest. Got another big fuck. Another big fuck. Get to the chopper. Get to the chopper. I think we probably boogered that up. I don't think they're going to land now. We might get lucky. We might get freaking lucky. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm pretty sure I just boogered up that big flock right there just because I ran. What I should have done is went prone, I think. But I'm going to go ahead and ignore everything for the time being because we got a lot of birds on the ground right now. There's another flock actually coming in as we speak. 6632. So far, this is our biggest bird of the hunt. So I'm going to go ahead and get a trophy shot of this bird very quickly here. And then we're going to go ahead and have our dog go ahead and start collecting up the rest of our birds. Um... So I'm going to get a trophy shot real quick, you guys. There's actually a flock flying right above us right now, you guys. All right, guys, this is a pretty cool one right here. And as you guys can hear in the background, I'm pretty freaking sure. Yeah, those birds broke. Those birds broke with us crouch sitting right here. Um, One. I don't. That's way too far, I think. I should have used my 22 here. That bird might be it. No, that bird's far. I don't even think we come close. I don't even think we come close. I was literally crouched right in the decoys. Made a big old flock break right there. I'm going to jump back in the blind real quick here. Um, I could hear them the whole time. I was actually doing that uh, trophy shot right there. So I hope I saved that one. Um, but we got a pile of birds in here. I'm going to keep having the dog go ahead and fetch me up some birds here. Go ahead and keep leveling him up. And we actually have a pheasant flying right at us here or she flew away from us. So I'm going to go ahead and get these birds collected up, rounded up in our blind here, and then we're going to go ahead and harvest all of these, and we're only probably going to go ahead and take one or two more flocks here. Um, probably one more flock, one more good group of birds that come over us. We'll go ahead and cut them. Um, but we got a lot of meat on the ground already, guys. We got a good, good variety of birds here. Um, and there's still plenty more to be collected up and rounded up in the field right now. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and keep my dog running here. Keep giving him treats. Go ahead and keep leveling him up. He's level 10 already. But let's go ahead and uh, just keep doing what we're doing. We'll see you guys here in a minute. All right, you guys. So as you guys can tell, the dog has done a great job going ahead and rounding up all these birds for us. And we have quite a few down. Um, I didn't quite realize that we already had... I didn't quite realize that we already had this many birds on the ground. This is insane. I'm going to go ahead and start picking these things up. Of course, first one we pick up is that pheasant that she brought us. Uh, and she's actually going to grab another one uh, right now. So I'm going to go ahead and keep picking up some birds here. Come on, come on. Don't, don't, don't glitch out on me now. Another male, 7.2 kilograms. Got this one in the neck at 41.5 meters. 7232. I believe that is the biggest bird of the hunt so far. I think that might be our biggest bird so far. It broke over 7,000. Not bad. A female right here, 5584. Another 19 GM. Still getting some of that good money. And we really did not spend any kind of money on this hunt because the 12 gauge bird shot is keeps getting refilled ever after every hunt. So that's great stuff. Great stuff. It's a lot of profit here. Uh 5222 for that male. Uh, not the biggest, not the biggest, but here is our other pheasant right here. 7.7 uh, .7 .7 as a hen pheasant. Not bad. Um, I'm really curious because last time I sent him out to fetch, as you can tell down below, it was an exclamation point instead of a question mark. And he actually ran past my tent and over that little hill right there and grabbed a bird. He probably went 100 meters and grabbed that bird. At least. I was like, sweet. Thank God I had this dog or else I never would have found that bird. So it looks like we got 
maybe four more here. Another male, 6.1 kilograms in the neck, 33 meters, 6,056. So it kind of looks like 7,000 is going to be the top bird of this hunt, which that's not really what we're out here after. We're just out here enjoying waterfowl hunting in general here. Uh, 5204 for this female. Not bad. 17 GMs. We're still making good money here. Good money on these goose. Um, let's go ahead and see this one. Another female. We actually shot this one twice. Hmm. Uh, 5388. Not bad. Not bad. What is what is trophy? Oh, that's just never mind. I thought maybe I found something cool and new. Cool and new. All right. So it's kind of calmed down here a little while. Looks like we got two more. Another female. 33.1 meters. 5.3 kilograms and this one is 52.59 not bad looks like we got one more you guys and we're going to wrap it up after this last goose right here another male 5.4 kilograms only 54.37 but you guys we did have i'm pretty sure that was one pretty good sized bird right there and this is actually goes ahead and oh my god we got another flock all right you guys hold on we got another flock we'll be right back don't go anywhere. more action coming your way all right, guys, there's no way this flock just broke from that far. They were pretty freaking far, but I'm going to go ahead and cut them. You ready? Cut them. Two, two, two. Come on, come on, reload, reload. Oh, why was that a double? Oh, that should have been a double. They are intertwined, crisscross, applesauce. That should have been a freaking double. Oh, one of those birds is hurting bad. One of those birds is hurting real bad, you guys. You know all those birds right there have a BB at least in them. All right, so this is going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Another male, 5.9. We got 5.915. Not the biggest of the hunt. But oh my goodness, I can't believe those birds actually broke on only a half setup for goose. And they were pretty freaking far out there. Um, I think we have one more. I think this should be our last one right over here then we're going to end things off right there i'm gonna go ahead and take this time real quick say if you guys enjoyed go ahead and smash that like button it really does help me out a lot another male 6.2 this could be a good one 62 28 another good size meat bird for a canadian goose and some more money here for us so i'm gonna go ahead and make sure that there's no other birds around this area uh really quick um and it does not appear maybe nope doesn't look like there's anything else around here. So, like I said, you guys, thank you guys so much for all the support on the Hunter Classic videos. They are doing awesome, you guys. I cannot thank you guys enough. Um, if you are new and you want to see more of the Hunter Classic content and what I have to bring to the table, go ahead hit that subscribe button. It really does help me out. Uh, we're so close to 1,000. It's a huge milestone, and I can't wait to hopefully hit it here in the near, near future. So I'm going to go ahead and end things off there, you guys. So until next time, you guys, hunt safe, shoot straight, and we'll see you guys out there.